On leather, we are investing 1.7 billion in the 2023-2024 budget to develop the leather pack industry in Kenani. There will be more investments by government and private sector to further transform the leather value chain into a globally competitive finished leather and leather goods manufacturing industry and reduce importation of leather goods, especially footwear. As a short term measure to mitigate the high cost of food, the government has waived duty on imported maize, rice, sugar, and raw materials for manufacturing of livestock feeds. Specifically, in this year's budget, we have waived duty on yellow maize for animal feed production. I will shortly have a conversation with all the manufacturers of our animal feed so that we engage and find ways beyond the interventions we already have to ensure that our dairy, leather, and in general livestock sector is taken care of. Two thirds of our country's agricultural land requires irrigation, but only 4% is under irrigation. I believe that irrigation is a singular transformative intervention that will liberate agricultural productivity from low and erratic rainfall patterns and enable farmers to be in active production throughout the year. And that is the reason why we have a comprehensive government program to ensure that we harvest and store water in dams, in micro dams, in pans, and a comprehensive program is being undertaken by the Ministry of Water and Irrigation and working with the private sector under the PPP program to ensure that we increase the land under irrigation from the current 60,000 to 250,000 by next year and 500,000 hectares in five years.